A new study out this week suggests technology could be leading to more violence among teenagers. The study done by MTV and the Associated Press shows half of those polled said they had been a victim of some type of digital abuse, which can lead to physical violence, even murder. Three in ten young people have been involved in naked sexting, sending sexually explicit photographs over the cell phone or online. Now, parents can help put a stop to this dangerous cycle. TNTV's Tracy Townsend sits down with an expert to get advice on how to handle dating violence. Another issue many teens face today is dating violence. One in 11 high school students report being physically hurt by a date. And today we are getting real about this topic with Yvette McGee Brown, president of the Center for Child and Family Advocacy at Nationwide Children's Hospital. So first of all, when do teens, how can a teen tell that their relationship has veered off into this violent realm? Well, first it's when the first signs are possession. When he or she is so possessive, they don't want you being anyplace else. They don't want you being with anyone but them. They try to isolate you from friends and family. Secondly, when they call you out of your name, you know, we've become very permissive, our young people, because of the music they hear, the media they're exposed to. When somebody starts calling you out of your name, that's a sign of a lack of respect. It's a control issue. You. And then the more you respond to that, the more you push that person over to thinking they can do whatever they want to you, which could include physical violence. And so what can a parent say? Because a lot of those signs you talked about, I know young girls may think, well, that means he loves me. Mm -hmm. What can parents do to say, mm, no, not? Well, parents first have to learn that they have to talk to their teen in a way that the teen can hear them. So if they come out and say you can never be with that person or they're adamantly opposed, the teen shuts you down and will find other ways to be with that person. What you've got to do is say to them, how do you feel when he talks to to you that way or if you have a family gathering and the teen says I can't be there I have to go be with my boyfriend or girlfriend you need to insist that they do things with the family mm -hmm. they can make other time to see that person but use opportunities that you observe to talk to your teen about respect that love doesn't hurt that love is not possessive because for many teens it's their first experience and like you said they think if he's showing them attention that they are all in all right and that before we let you go real quick Music, culture, you think you think that has anything to do with the rise I think of music and culture has a huge thing to do with it. Our society has become so permissive that kids don't know where the boundaries are anymore. They see videos where girls are half-dressed, where girls are talked about, called out of their name, and so they start to think it's cool and it's no big deal. That's really where we have to start with our kids. Don't allow them to listen to music that degrades women and sends a negative image about them. All right, good place to start. Thank you. Thank you, Yvette.